So now let's talk about vacuums. Because they're expensive and complicated, maybe. I don't know. But they are actually not as complicated as you think. So this is mine, the one that I have to have. I've had it for a while. It's a, the Bissell Power Force. You get this one for about $75 on the at Walmart. I got this one at Walmart. That's definitely for sure. So here is the Walmart thing. You can see that. It is $74. I know that's a lot of money for some people. It can be. However, all the, the, my point of all this is to teach you how to make it last a lot longer than you think it really does. Now, I have another thing to say is that Dyson are the best. They definitely are. This is Dyson at Walmart for 500 bucks. Dyson's are the best hands down because the Dyson guy is an engineer and I don't know. He's just great. However, that's not necessarily what everybody can afford. But this one is a shark. It's still 200 bucks, okay? So it's still a lot of money. So it's out of my range. But if you are looking and you have the money and you want something, this one is just as good. By the way, I always thought shark vacuums were like poopy vacuums. Because they only have commercials in like infomercial styles. And I always thought infomercial stuff was crappy. However, it's not. If you look up the reviews and look things up, because I'm a nerd and I look things up, shark vacuums are <clears throat> just as good, if not better, <clears throat> than Dyson's. They do, and when you do the test part, there's like a few percentage difference. So save money, get a shark if that's what you're into. So this is the one I have. This is a very popular model, a lot of people. So the things that I'm going to go to save you money <clears throat> is <clears throat> usually the thing that happens the most often is that the belt either burns or breaks. And if you bring it to the vacuum shop, I think they charge you like 40 bucks to change the belt. I'm going to show you how to quickly change a belt yourself because it's really not hard because you can buy a pack of two at Canadian Tire for $7.99. So don't go paying somebody 40 bucks for something that you can do yourself. It's really, 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 really easy. Trust me. <clears throat> and when it comes to this, now I haven't emptied the canister just to show you. Because I'm going to show you the filter part. Um, again, if your vacuum doesn't like suck things up like it used to, it's not broken. Your filters are probably just clogged. And... The thing is, with these Bissell ones, I mean, I, I have found replacement filters online. They're kind of expensive, okay, I, I won't lie. But this is Amazon.ca, this is the Canadian one, so there's no, you know, extra things at the door. However, I have not bought one in about three years because you can wash them carefully with just nothing but water. And if you let them dry for two days, they're like new. So that's what we're, I'm going to show you. We're going to clean my vacuum together. Let's do that. So keeping with the theme that we're going to assume everybody doesn't know anything, which we all know, we know a lot of stuff. Let's talk about filters and how to fix the thing. So I put it on... A garbage bag because I just vacuumed. I don't make a mess. So these vacuums are pretty easy. Yeah, unclip the bottom. You pull this part out. Now I took all my my junk out because I didn't think you needed to see my stuff. There are a few things that you can clean with this, and I'm going to. So first of all, you just screw this. Just turn. See all the dust coming out, right? It's okay. We want to get rid of that. You turn and it comes out. Now, this is the dust in my apartment, okay? I don't vacuum anything else. Again, this place is so old that I think I'm actually picking up dust from like a bazillion years ago. But that's okay. We can do that. Now, the inside looks all like that. And, you know, you can run a not a damp anything. Unless you let it dry well enough. Because, you know, 
anything wet, this fine fine dust will just stick there and it becomes this weird kind of cement. I learned the hard way with my old one, right? Now this part also comes out. Lift. Pull it out. There's this. There is a little part here that comes out. There's the filter here. Now this one's not dirty right now, so it's okay. There's also a filter under here if you happen to have one. Just click it open. So this one is a little bit dirty, so we are going to wash this. Again, you can buy them new. And if, you know, you go to a place that fixes vacuums and you're like, hey, my vacuum needs help. This is the, what they're going to do. Or they might replace them and charge you a bazillion dollars extra that they don't have to. But again, let's help each other. Let's save some money. Let's do this on our own. So we've taken all the parts out and, you know, you just got to dust it with just paper towel. Just take the stuff off. That's just the guts of it. So it doesn't really, really matter. This is the part so again you can buy this for like $30 I just showed you that on Amazon but you don't have to buy it all the time so once it's stuck in this little cup you turn and it comes off now this is gunked up and it's funny because the only the only carpets that I have now since I don't live in the bachelor downstairs anymore is this carpet I'm sitting on right now which I just bought new but eight months ago or whatever and the one in my bedroom same thing i have little area rugs but apparently there's this much you know whatever it's happening you live in old buildings but that's all right so you know same thing for this tap it out clean that part out this has two parts to it so there's this part that and i'm going to be careful because this can rip this is just foam so i'm not going to do this with one hand because i might rip it and i don't want to go buy another one because i don't got no money um but then there's this part and you can clean all this. You just run it through water. The foam part will dry in about one day. This part though might take about, I'd leave it out for five days for sure because if there's any kind of moisture in there and you put it back in, again, it'll stick to it like cement. So let's go clean stuff. Here we are, I'm in sink. Yep, whatever. Another quick tip, this thing is like a dollar, a dollar Emma. Shop a dollar in my for everything. It catches all the stuff before it falls into the bottom of the sink and doesn't clog stuff up. It's rubber, it's like a dollar fifty. Great. So these things come apart. And again, I suggest that you take allergy medicine. So we're gonna start with this one. Okay, there's no other parts but this. You just run water on it. Just clear. Get water. Get in there. I actually have a really old toothbrush that sits back here that I use to scrub stuff. So, you know, scrub out all the little holes. Okay, you're not cleaning anything right unless you get dirty. Okay. Then we're going to go to this one. Just use the water. Now, the dirty parts here will use gravity to help us put the water this way. So it's going to take a ball for the water to go through. That's okay. You have to be careful and gentle because you rip them, well, you're going to buy new ones. Now it's completely soaked. Just go in there. Be careful. Idea. Baking soda. Now, baking soda does a lot of things. You know, we all know that we're supposed to use it to, um, it deodorizes a lot, you know. It also can be thrown onto a grease fire for the person who's afraid of fire that I am. But it's also slightly abrasive as a nature, but it has no chemicals. So we're gonna scrub this in. All right, so it's been sitting there for like 30 seconds or whatever, so. Let's 
work it in. Cold water. So, the water coming off it is white. That's great. Scrub a little. Carefully. Between, we're getting between the teeth or something. This reminds me of like a whale's teeth system. And then I have the Baby Beluga song on my head. If anybody remembers Full House back in the day when Michelle would sing the Baby Beluga song. Yes, people, I am that old. And this is probably going to have to dry again for about five days. And I, like I say, if you squeeze it too much, it's, it's going to collapse. Let's let that dry. <clears throat> now to the fun part. So we're going to put our little catcher of... You know, stuff. And do this. So again, this part is foam and it's easily ripped. I've already kind of started ripping it because I've been cleaning it a few times. Oh, but I'm cheap. Yeah, see all, yeah, let's just rinse that off. It's gonna come off. Lightly do it. So you be real nice to this thing. Squeeze the water out of it. Rip it. And we have a clean one. Now it does have this kind of weird like eight shape. That's fine. So I'm just going to dry my hands a bit to pick up the camera to show you what came out. And then I will go take that medication because I need it. All right. So, do you see that? That's all the gunk from that. In my, ooh. I'm gonna clean that up and take responsibility and care of myself. So, there is gonna be a little bit of cleanup. You know, wash your sink and stuff after, but. Should wash your sink anyway. And the wash your sink with baking soda. Oh my gosh, I sound like an infomercial. I should make infomercials. I hate those food faces. Okay. <clears throat> A little bit of water. You have to get it, soak it first before you can even start putting it in. I don't know if you can see the dust coming off of it, but I can. Get the water everywhere. You don't have to be that that gentle with this thing. It's it's pretty tough, pretty tough. Now the water's gross. That's okay. We're getting everything out, okay? Because we are people that are living on a budget, and budget people sometimes need to get their hands dirty. Again, you know, everybody disses maids and you know, or people that. I don't know what they're called now, PC term. I'm going back. Toothbrush. But, you know what? If you work at McDonald's and that's your job and that's how you support yourself, your family, or whatever, good for you. You have a job. And you are not unimportant. And if you're the type of person, like a janitor, let's per se. Um, and this just comes from you having to watch a judge me or whatever, where... A little boy was bullied for the fact that his father was a garbage man. You know what? If nobody were garbage men and nobody picked up your garbage, just think about it. If nobody picked up your garbage, what the heck would happen? There was actually a garbage strike. Was it in Toronto a few years ago? And it got disgusting after like three weeks. So, um, you might be a garbage man, but guess what? You're a very important role to society. Same thing for janitors. Nobody takes out, nobody cleans your bathroom. At your workplace, at your school, at the local YMCA, who the heck's going to do it? They need to be clean. So all those people that, not necessarily everybody, but some 
tend to look down on because they think that that job, you know, is less important because you don't need a degree to do it. They are the most important jobs. Because let me tell you one thing. The world will still go round if CEO and executives are few and far between. Because there would be less grief. However, the world will stop running if the base of your pyramid, which is the people that clean things, and the people that provide you with food, and all those kinds of things, disappear. So that's my little rant on the stuff. Everybody's important. Doesn't matter what you do, you matter. Everybody matters, and don't ever let anybody tell you different. So this is now pretty clean. You know all the folds, we got that all out. <coughs> so, the pieces to, <laughs> good thing it's tough, huh? The pieces to the filter part are all clean, so all we gotta do is let them dry, air dry, for about five days. I'm gonna give them a week to make sure they're dry. And uh, I happen to have a nice window sill where the window, where the sunshine comes in a lot, so we'll put them there. But that's it for Pittsburgh. It's just really weird. Like All right, I, so we are going to hurry up before my batteries die. So this is the underneath. I took the screws off. Another quick thing that you might want to get for like a dollar at Princess Auto is one of these cool little trays. They have a magnet on the bottom so you don't lose your screws. So anybody that doesn't know what to get their dad for Christmas or their their baby daddy, boyfriend, girlfriend, anybody, whatever. This is a neat little thing. You don't lose your screws. So we took them off. There's one here, one here, one here, down there, down there. And that tricky, tricky one is all the way down here. Now this has been stuck together. I just realized I'm dirty. It's okay. You pull that off. Look at all that dirt. I'm going to clean all that out, okay? Now, again, I already cleaned this out a while back, but I tell y'all, I lose my hair and yeah, I, I lose my hair from anxiety. All right, and I barely have any carpet, and there's so much hair it picks up. It's crazy. So I'm definitely going to be um, cleaning that out. So there's a big chunk of. Thing. I suggest you take allergy medicine before you start doing this. By the way, so this is the belt in question. You want it, that's, this is it, okay? Seven bucks, they're gonna charge you like 45. So to take it off, once you take that part off, you just take this wheel part off, all right? This wheel part comes off. This is the belt. It goes around here. So all you have to do is put the new belt around that pin. You put the new belt around this part here. Pull it up, snap it back into place, and you have changed your belt, and you have saved yourself Forty dollars. All right. So this is all part. We're now going to clean it. I have all my parts. I keep adding things to what you should have in your house. A cheap paintbrush. The older, the more used up it is. The dust. The more used up it is, the better it is. If you guys had any idea how many ATMs that I have fixed using just this, you'd laugh. So that's another reason that they made that plastic funny money. I mean, they, they made it wrong, it still stuck together, but money creates money dust and it gets into everything. And if you've ever done a full clean of an ATM, which is like 12 hours, oh, it's everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, but it helps get rid of all the dust and stuff. You know, dollar store again. Actually, I, I got mine at dollar store simply because I didn't, you know, have access to what my dad had. But if any of you have like, you know, granddads or dads or whatever that have old paint brushes because the natural bristles are going to be better than I don't want to mess and I've sneezed so many times since I've been doing this um yeah these happen to be like 
and the plastic bristles, but if you get those real bristles, they're even better. And the more worn out they are, the more they work. Oh, I have asthma, people. And allergies. All right, it's okay. We will take our puffer. So, I've done this before. I lose my hair. There's a reason why it's so short. So I know the tools, okay? We need some scissors and a really tiny flathead screwdriver. And it's straight up, just cut it off. There's, there's actually nothing under there that like you're gonna accidentally cut if you just cut the hair right off. It's just been wound up. I don't know when the last time I did this was. I think it was like a year ago actually or maybe a little bit more but still i mean that's crazy i was living downstairs in, in the bachelor uh when i i did it the first time so that's how much hair i lose i mean again anxiety is insane it does a lot of things to your body um this is like an insane acne i mean i still do a little bit but i mean it's it's to a point that i'm i mean one or two compared to what I had before. I mean, I used to have a lot of hair. Beautiful, long, curly hair. And now there's, I mean, it looks like there's a lot because it's curly and puffy, but I already showed all of you that most of it's shaved. It's just the, the little outside part. So now it's all free of stuff. And I'm gonna get rid of all this junky part. And I'll be back and uh, we'll put it together. All right, so let's put it back together again while I listen to Emily Noel on YouTube. I like the YouTubers that are real. You know, she has another job. This isn't her thing. Oh, I don't think, you know, either way, I just like her honesty. So. This still is how you would change the belt. It comes off, okay? It comes off. You just put it on the little roller. Uh, it's not that hard, you know. So there you go, it's there. Then you wrap it around this little part, because that's where, and usually when you burn your belt, it's because for some weird reason, this whole part gets spinning, but something is stuck and then it burns. And if it's not, if there's a little part that's a little bit stretched, a little bit burned, it just stuck, stays stuck there. So you just pull it a little bit because it feels a little bit of tension and you snap it in. <clears throat> All right. Done. Beautiful. Now we put this back into the little... Those little brackets. Snap it back up. I don't pull that out. So yeah, you can actually pull all that out. I've done that before. But I'm not doing that. There's a hair. So that's put back together. The last thing is we need our screws that we never lost because we have all little magnetic thing that holds them in. Put the cover back on. There you go, and now you just put the screw back in. Okay, so wipe off the last bits. vacuum we are waiting for about a week for all the filters to dry and we'll put them back in there they come in the same way they came out you just place it in there talk that in there and you will be amazed amazed at how much better it's like a new vacuum if you do all this and your vacuum still doesn't work then yes you should get a new one but usually this will make a huge difference and 
it's way less costly than buying a new one or trying to get it fixed. Any questions? You can always ask. I'm around. Yeah. Anyway. Those are my tips. Save some money. Stop each other. Thanks, guys.